Walking away increases attraction. Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about why walking away creates attraction. So if you can, imagine for a moment, um, someone you love stops contacting you. Someone you love stops wanting to be around you. Someone who you love stops displaying any interest in you and your life. Now this doesn't even have to be a romantic relationship. It could be someone who is really important to you, someone else. It could be like a family member or a friend. Now for a moment, think about that. Think about how you would react if you suddenly realized that someone was no longer wanting to be around you and no longer wanted to be your friend, no longer wanted to have anything to do with you. They no longer want to talk to you anymore. Imagine what you would do. What would you do in that kind of circumstance? Now, if you're like everybody else, then probably your first instinct would be to contact that person. Why? Because you miss them, because you realize that you are losing something, you are losing someone, and therefore you feel like you have to act. You feel like you have to do something to get them back, to get them to love you again, to get them to be your friend again, to get them to want to be around you again. Walking away from someone increases attraction, and that happens to everybody in all sorts of kinds of circumstances. So if you want someone to be more attracted to you, if you want someone to be chasing you and reaching out to you, then therefore you must also adopt this kind of method. And that is simply walking away. Especially if you feel like you're not getting what you deserve out of a relationship. And sometimes that's the best thing that you can do. And sometimes you do need to walk away forever, even if that person does come back. So let's say someone is taking you for granted. Let's say a boss is taking you for granted and then you leave that job. And then um, a couple of weeks later, they start calling you up saying, do you want your job back? You know, obviously sometimes something like that, you know, you don't have to go back to that kind of situation. Sometimes you can, um, and perhaps they may even give you a bigger pay rise. You know, you see this a lot with, you know, when people do try to get a bigger pay rise, they go to their bosses and basically say, look, I've got another job lined up. If I'm not gonna get a pay rise, then you're gonna leave, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave this company. And, you know, sometimes, if not a lot of the time, that person that person does get that raise, especially if this person is someone who is really, really valuable to the company. Now, obviously, um, this is what kind of happens in relationships as well. Like if you're not valuable to someone, if this person doesn't care about you, if you walk away, they're not really gonna do anything. But if you are valuable to them, then they will try and get you back. They will do what they can to keep you. So you need to appear valuable to them. So this is why walking away not only causes attraction in the right people, but it also weeds out the people that don't give a crap, that weeds out the people that don't care about us, because the people that don't care, that don't see us as valuable assets, will just simply let us go. But people that do see us as valuable will try and do their best to keep us, which is why when people go in for those promotions and they're really valuable to that company, the boss will do absolutely everything to try and keep that employee. And if that means giving them a pay rise, it means giving them a pay rise. When someone is valuable to us, we try and, and they walk away, we will do anything to try and get them back into our lives. And the same is for us. If we are valuable and we suddenly walk away from someone, that person is going to want to try and do what they can to keep us. Now let's for a second think about our attractions. Let's think about some crushes that we've had in our lives, some time to reflect. So let's think about, let's say, a big crush that you had at school that was unreciprocated or another time in your life where love was unreciprocated. Now, this person that we probably had a crush on, and I know it was definitely with the same for me, was that this person who we were attracted to seemed quite aloof, seemed quite distant, didn't really show much on their face about how they felt about us. And sometimes it was that very aloofness, that very distance that they created, that was the thing that made us attracted to them in the first place. It makes us wonder about them. We think, wow, why is this person so distant? Why is this person not really displaying what you know, they are feeling on their face. I want to know if this person likes me. I don't understand what this person is doing. They're so distant, they're so aloof, they're so mysterious. And you feel attracted, you can't help but feel attracted to those kinds of people. So in order to, you know, get that kind of attraction from the people that we like, then we must also behave in the same way. We must also be aloof, mysterious, 
distant. And one of the best ways we can do this is by stop giving those people that attention that we've been giving them. So let's say you have a crush or you have an ex that you've been really trying to get interested in you or get back and you stop, you suddenly stop giving them the attention that you were giving them. You start to become more distant, you start to become more aloof, you're no longer messaging them. You might have gone cold turkey on social media and you're no longer posting anything. You've gone completely off the radar and they're sitting there wondering, where's my affection gone? This person would send me a message every day saying good morning or they'll be trying to get me back. This person has just disappeared. What's going on? Maybe I should reach out to them. Maybe I should do something. Maybe I should try and get this person back into my life. And obviously the warning with that is that you need to make sure that this person actually does care about you. Because there's some people, there's some women and some guys that will just keep you around in their life because they like the attention that you give them. So it could be a case of them just being an attention seeker and then wanting your validation basically because it makes them feel good. It gives them an ego boost. They might not necessarily be interested in you romantically, but they like that attention that you give them. And therefore they will you know, reach out to you because they want that attention back. So you need to be very, very careful of that. So make sure that you're doing this to the right people that, you know, actually do care about you, that actually do want to be with you and that are actually interested in you and not just those attention seekers. It's best to just let those attention seekers be the dead wood that they are and just let them fade away into the distance. And you'll usually be able to tell with people that, you know, just want, like your attention, and the main factor is that they will probably never go on a date with you. So let's say this is a crush that you're kind of thinking of right now um, and you want them to be in a relationship with you and you've probably asked them out a couple of times. You may have even told them that you have feelings for them and they've always rejected you. People that want your attention will stay around in your life and will try to keep you in their life so they can keep on getting that attention, but they will never go on serious dates with you. Um, they will never have, um, they will never want to be in a relationship with you. Um, you could play, basically play all your cards right, but they will still never end up in that relationship with you. You two will never become exclusive or serious. If you want the people that were once attracted to you to be attracted to you, if you want your ex back, if you want someone back in your life, or if you just simply want to start displaying more strength in your life, more power in your life, um, and become more, you know, mysterious to other people, become more um, confident, look more confident, then become more aloof, become more distant, rein in your emotions and have emotional self-control. Don't be as active on social media. Don't wear your heart on your sleeve and always tell people that you like that you're in love with them or give them, you know, too much emotion always kind of remain a little bit distant um, until you do end up in an exclusive relationship when you can have your guard down a bit more. But when you're just in the dating stages or you're trying to reattract someone, you have to kind of play the game. You have to keep your cards close to your chest until they reveal theirs. Wait for them to say that they want you back. Wait for them to say that they're in love with you. Wait for them to start displaying that interest. And then all you need to do is reciprocate. And that's why walking away increases attraction. If you would like to get in touch with me personally, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. On the shop page of that website, you should be able to find a free PDF download, which is a dating and relationships manual. If you do get that manual and you do like it and you do read it, then please let me know if there's anything in there that you'd like me to add or anything that you feel like I missed or if you have any critiques so I can make it the best product possible for those people that want it. Thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye guys.